Good morning everyone, Cloud Retainer is finally available in the game so we will be pulling for her. However, the big question that I need to ask everyone is which outfit should I buy? Should I buy Shenhe's outfit or Ganyu's outfit? I think I will be buying Ganyu's outfit for sure, mainly because uh, she is one of the main characters that I use and the outfit looks so elegant, especially that hair design over here. I really like this design, looks super, super clean, super pretty. Even though I do like her default outfit quite a lot, I do prefer her having the little ponytail looking thing versus this one with all her hair tied up. But this one just screams elegance, you know? It's so elegant, so pretty. And since Ganyu is my main character, I will probably end up buying her outfit. But, I mean, Shenhe's outfit looks so clean as well. Like, this is her normal look. I do like her normal look as well, you know, with the with the booba window looking thingy over here, as well as the non-belly button. I don't know why they removed her belly button. Really silly. But nevertheless, I do like her default outfit as well. But with this, it's like, it's so clean as well. It's so elegant, so clean. To be honest, I kind of prefer Shenhe's outfit over Ganyu's outfit. But I just use Ganyu more often. Well, I mean, I kind of use both of them since this is my main team. If we look at my party setup over here, my main team is Ashley, Shenhe, Zhongli, and Ganyu. And we're going to be replacing Kokomi with Cloud Retainer, of course, so that it's going to be like the perfect team, you know? So that's uh, what we're going to do. So, you know, first things first, let's just pull Cloud Retainer since uh, that's what we want. She's over here, super pretty. We don't care about any of the characters over here. Like, you know, if I can get a C6 Farzan, that would be nice. Um, you know, her kit kind of interests me a little bit. But you do need C6 to make it like viable apparently or good. So that is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And uh, Gaming, I'm, I don't really care about Gaming that much. But anyway, with that being said, let us begin our pulls. So we are just going to begin with our first 10 pull over here. I do have 21,000 Primo, so I do have... Do we get her right off the bat? This, this would be perfect if we get her right off the bat. That's going to save me enough Primos for Chiori because I want Shiori as well. Please, please don't give me a Diluc. Do not give me a Diluc. I, I've, I've gotten so many Diluc's and I've got it every time I lost a 50-50. Yes! Oh! All right, sorry about that jump cut over there. Shen Yun just wouldn't stop talking. She has like an entire introduction dialogue for pulling her. It was actually pretty insane how long she talked for. It was like a good minute, I want to say. But nevertheless, we are incredibly lucky and we did get Shen Yun. Um, actually, I believe we won. Like that was the first 10 pull, actually, I think. So let us look over here. So, uh... Yeah, we had Farina literally less than 10 pulls ago. Like, there's five pulls, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, literally, that was our first 10 pull, and we got Xian Yun or Cloud Retainer. So, uh, I am very happy. We are saving the rest of my primos. We are not pulling for anything else until uh, Chiori comes out. We are not pulling for her signature weapon either because I don't need her signature weapon. If we look at what her signature weapon actually does, it increases your plunging attack damage. But the thing is, in my team composition, I don't have plungers. I'm not going to be plunge attacking at all. I'm literally just using her as a healer. She's just a glorified healer. So if we look over here, here is Cloud Retainer. I like her animation, very memeable. All right, not bad, not bad. We equipped her. She doesn't go on on a spiel of like 50,000 words. It's just a very short and concise message. Um, but here she is. Oh my God. She's very, very pretty. I do like the, the guts they had to give her green makeup, like the green lipstick as well as the eyeshadow. That takes a lot of uh, guts to use. Let's see, the E, 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 and plunge. Oh, that's so clean. That's so cool. So uh, next up is going to be the outfit. Actually, I'm going to be real with you guys. Even though I use Ganyu for the majority of my game, like, you know, for all the fighting and stuff, and she is the main character, I think Shenhe is going to be the one that's getting the new outfit. Because I just like the Shenhe outfit so much more. I feel like, yeah, this one just looks so much cleaner. We do have a small discount for the next 40 days, and we're just going to be buying this. And wabam. Oh. Wow, look at this artwork. Oh my God, that is clean. 
All right, so let's equip that outfit now. So let's go over here. Shenha dressing room, boom, switch to this. Yes, this is called material desire. And then over here, we will level up our uh, cloud retainer. Let's max her out. Oh, well, we need this new thing, apparently, which I will need to go to the new area to collect. So that kind of sucks. Um, as for her weapon, I have no idea what she uses. I don't actually have that many choices of weapons. Uh, she's not going to be using the donut. Actually, could she use the donut? Healing bonus increased by 10%. Normal attack. Well, I mean, she does a normal attack, but technically she could use the donut since it does give her HP, but her healing doesn't scale off HP. Her healing scales off attack. So we are going to need something that gives her attack. Well, Dodo Co Tails gives you attack percentage. I think this might be perfect. Um, she's not going to be using any of the stuff over here, unfortunately, but you know, it does give her extra attack, which will increase her healing, which is pretty nice. If we look at our normal items over here, we could use the Eye of Perception. Again, we aren't going to be at normal attacking or charge attacking, so that's a little bit unfortunate. What about the Solar Pearl? Mm, normal attack increases your elemental skill and burst damage. No, probably not. Mapa Mare, probably not either. Um, sacrificial Fragments, maybe? The skill is 40%. I mean, this will allow you to E a lot more often, but I'm going to be real with you. I'm just using her to use her elemental burst for the heal because her burst is essentially like a gene heal, at least the healing portion of it. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to use as her weapon. I might need to go onto YouTube and see what other people use. We could just use Thrilling Tales. This might be like the super cop out way. Just, you know, it just gives everyone more damage, which is really, really useful. Um, but that doesn't really give her any uh, actual stats. You know, it does increase her damage for her healing. But then again, you know, maybe her healing is good enough without any extra attack if I just give her all the right artifacts. Oh, they added this feature too, the recommended sets. Oh, that's really nice to see. Um, so we'll definitely see that. But I think I might be just copying what my uh, Shen He does, you know, with just the extra attack over here. My Shen He has 3,449 attack, which is absolutely insane. Oh my god, she looks so good in this outfit. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my god. That is clean. That is clean. I am glad that I bought this outfit. She looks so, so good. Um, now, of course, you know, unfortunately, Ganyu is still rocking her default outfit. But I mean, I like her default outfit a lot. I really like Ganyu's regular outfit. Does it get rid of the bell, actually? If we buy her, it does. It does. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. It replaces the bell with another bell. Yeah, the only thing about her outfit that I sort of didn't really like was this gigantic bell over here. It's not the prettiest thing. And this one makes it a lot smaller, but there's still that little bell. But nevertheless, this does look really pretty. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. 1,350 is quite a lot of money. If we look over here, yeah, it's like 3,700 yen. So uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to see. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But nevertheless, I am very happy that we managed to get Shen Yun so quickly. We got her so quick. It's actually insane. Oh, her wings are wrong. We need to change her gliders as well, obviously. So, uh, Wind Glider, we are going to give you the nice blue shiny ones. Yeah, let's switch to that. Well, bam. Alrighty. But uh, I think that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I got incredibly lucky. One ten pull and we got her. We're good to go. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the story because there's an entire new region to explore. I believe it's like up here. Yep, entire new region. So I'm going to enjoy exploring that and just messing about. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.